Hello, dear students. We are moving into a chapter atoms where we discuss Rutherford's alpha scattering experiment. We are not in discussing in detail, but I would like to take some of the mathematical formula what we are getting from that alpha particle scattering experiment. All of us know that Rutherford performed that experiment on the alpha particles whenever they are scattered by the thin gold foils. Yeah, a schematic diagram that has been shown to you. I want you to see R naught there. Can you see that R naught? And that is nothing but distance of closest approach. Distance of closest approach. And B, I hope you can see in the diagram, that is nothing but impact parameter. I would like to give the expressions for that because questions will be asked on that. Let's see right now, distance of closest approach. The minimum distance from the nucleus up to which the alpha particle can approach is called as distance of closest approach. We can see that from the diagram, R0 is acting like distance of closest approach and its expression is given by 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Z e square divided by K, where K is the kinetic energy of alpha particle. K is the kinetic energy of alpha particle. Let me repeat it, 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Z e square by K. Please do understand that. Instead of K, I can always take it as half mv square where k is nothing but kinetic energy. This is the distance of closest approach for you. Let me tell you what is impact parameter because usually the questions are asked on these two things. The perpendicular distance of velocity vector of the alpha particle from the center of the nucleus when it is far away from the nucleus is known as impact parameter. The perpendicular distance v vector from the center of the nucleus when it's far away from the nucleus is known as impact parameter. And how do I give that value? See that B is nothing but impact parameter. And I want to give the expression for impact parameter. Z e square divided by 4 pi epsilon naught cot theta by 2 in the numerator divided by half m square. We can always replace it by K. Z e square cot theta by 2, 4 pi epsilon naught half m square. And that simply indicates that B is proportional to cot theta by 2, where theta is a scattering angle. Yeah, the impact parameter B and the distance of close approach are, are not related as one of the very important formula. Impact parameter and distance of close approach, they are related as B is equal to R0 by 2 cot theta by 2. Don't forget this, R0 by 2 cot theta by 2. Questions are there in the following modules on this. Yes. If T is the thickness of the foil, N is the number of alpha particles scattered in a particular direction, where theta has to remain constant, then simply understand that n by t is constant. Number of alpha particles scattered, t is the thickness, n by t is a constant, n1 by n2 is equal to t1 by t2. Yeah, let me take one of the questions just to tell what exactly the questions are asked. In the experiment on scattering of alpha particles, distance of closest approach, impact parameter are 17.32 Fermi and 15 Fermi respectively. The angle of scattering for the alpha particle is, your answers are 0 degree, 30 degree, 60 degree, and 90 degree and right answer is 60 degree. Why it's so? I want to know that. Let me see right now. Solution says that impact parameter B, distance of close approach are not are related by the formula. B is equal to R not by 2 into cot theta by 2. They have given the value of B also. They have given the value of R not also. So what is cot theta by 2? Cot theta by 2 is nothing but 2B by R not. So that is equal to tan theta by 2. Just goes to the inverse. R0 by 2B. I know the value of R0, 17.32 Fermi divided by 2 into 15 Fermi, right? So 17.32 divided by 30, and that will give the answer as 0.573. That is tan theta by 2. And theta by 2 is equal to tan inverse of 0.5773. That's a popular number, which is 30 degree. That is theta by 2. What is theta? Theta is nothing but 60 degree. Calculation should reveal this answer. Theta is equal to 60 degree. Let's go to the next question. Simple. Plum pudding model of an atom was proposed by. I don't think I should give the options. All of you know the answers. Anyway, the options are C. V. Raman, N. Bohr, Niels Bohr, Ernst Rutherford, J. J. Thompson, and your answer is J. J. Thompson. It is proposed by J. J. Thompson. Okay? So there is just no mathematics in that, just an information which you need to know. Thank you.